Big thanks to eCall and OC Matthew for giving me this information. These guys put together the charts and did the research. They are correct, and all the thanks go to them. So, thank you, gentlemen. To make this a bit easier to understand, the left column here is going to show you the original leaked price for 3.23. And the column here, all the way on the right, is going to show you the final price you get when the pass goes live. This means we're getting a wipe, and we're going to be testing the new economy. So let's not waste any more time and jump right in. The first one we're going to start off with is Aegis, and we're going to start the Avenger line. The original price that you see right now on 3.22 is 882000 The price you're going to see when it goes live on 3.23 is $1.5 million, 80% increase. And remember, the left column is the old original leaked price, and the right column is the new final price. The Avenger Titan is going from 785 to 1.3 million. The Avenger Titan Renegade is going from 1 million to 1.8 million. And the Avenger Warlock is going from 1.1 million to 2.2 million. So across the board, all the Avengers, they're getting more expensive. The Eclipse is going from 3.4 million to 7.9 million. So before, there was no price increase, as you can see here, but now it's going to be bumped up pretty significantly, 127% actually. Pretty nuts. The Gladius is going from 1.1 million to 2.3 million. The Gladius Valiant is going from 1.4 million to 2.9 million. That's just a variant. It's not a big deal. It's still roughly the same price. 104% uh, increase there. The Hammerhead is going from 12.4 million to 47 million for a 285% increase, so even more expensive than we had originally thought. The Reclaimer is going from 15 million all the way over to 31 million for a 110% increase. So this also, it's worth remarking, this is higher than we originally thought. I agree with this price, by the way. It makes a lot of money. The Redeemer is going from 8.6 million to 17.2 million. The Retaliator is going from 4 million to 7.9 million. The Sabre is going from 2.1 million to 4.4 million. The Sabre Comet is going from 2.3 million to 4.8 million. The Vanguard Harbinger is going from 2 million to 11.5 million. The Vanguard Hoplite is going from 3.1 million to 9.3 million. The Vanguard Sentinel is going from 2 million to 10.9 million. The Vanguard Warden is going from 3.3 million to 10.3 million. Overall, you guys know me, I like the higher prices. I think these are fine. Think a lot of these do reflect their performance. The one I really want to talk a bit about though is the Harbinger again at 11.5 million. That's pretty pricey for a heavy fighter. It's pretty pricey. So I'm expecting it to be a bit better than the uh, other Vanguard variants here. The Eclipse finally getting a price increase, totally warranted. Those size nines pack a lot of damage as a very effective ship. And the Retaliator is actually going to be the same price as the Eclipse. So think about that. That's actually worth mentioning here. The Eclipse and Retaliator are going to be the same price at 7.9 mil. Anvil Arrow is going from 972,000 to 1.9 million. The Ballista is going from 364,000 to 1.4 million. The C8 is going from 400,000 to 745,000. The C8R is going from 918,000 to 555,000, and it still remains the cheapest. The C8X is going from 400,000 to 515,000. The Carrick is going from 26.6 million to 34.3 million. The Centurion is going from 287,000 to 1.1 million. The Gladiator is going from 1.9 million to 4.3 million. The Hawk is going from 1.2 million to 2.6 million. The Hurricane is going from 1.2 million to 5.5 million. The Spartan is going from 255,000 to 846,000. The Terrapin is going from 2.5 million to 5.4 million. The Valkyrie is going from 4.4 million to 19.8 million. The F7C Hornet is going from 1.4 million to 2.9 million. The Hornet Wildfire is going from 2.2 million to 4.6 million. 
The Hornet Ghost is going for 1.6 million to 3.3 million. The Hornet Tracker is going for 1.8 million to 3.2 million. And the Super Hornet is going from 2.1 million to 4.7 million. Interestingly, about Anvil here, a lot of these are a bit cheaper than what we had seen from the previous leak. Uh, in particular, the ground vehicles are much cheaper. They're still over a million, which is where I think they should be, but they're not as excessive as they were before. Carrick also isn't as expensive either. That one is worth mentioning. But overall, again, good prices here. I like these a lot. The Car 2 All is going from 2.1 million to 7.2 million. And the Knox is going from 300,000 to 722,000. The Banu Defender is going from 2.7 million to 6.2 million. The Asperia Blade is going from 3.3 million to 7.7 million. The Prowler is going from 4.2 million to 18.7 million. And the Talon is going from 1.8 million to 3.2 million. Everything here is also, once again, cheaper than the previous leak. The Argo Mole is going from 5.1 million to 8.9 million. The Cargo and Personal are going from roughly 224,000 to 333,000. And the Raft is going from 1.8 million to 3.4 million. These prices are all across the board cheaper than the original leak, but still higher. The Hover Quad from Consolidated Outland is going from 88,000 to 56,000. It's actually cheaper than before. The Mustang Alpha is going from 251,000 to 642. The Mustang Beta is going from 404,000 to 655. The Mustang Delta is going from 663,000 to 1.2 million. And the Mustang Gamma is going from 627,000 to 1.1 million. The Nomad is going from 952,000 to 1.5 million. These prices also are all cheaper than the original leak. The Crusader A2 is going from 5.5 million to 44.2 million. The C2 is going from 4.9 million to 18.9 million. And the M2 is going from 5.2 million to 29.4 million. The Ares, Ion, and Inferno are both going from 2.8 million to 4.7 million. The MSR is going from 4.9 million to 12.2 million. These are also all cheaper than the original leak. I'm just glad that the A2 is still incredibly expensive. I'm very happy for that. The Drake Buccaneer is going from 1.4 million to 1.6 million. The Caterpillar is going from 4.6 million to 12.4 million. The Corsair is going from 3.2 million to 6.5 million. The Cutlass Black is going from 1.3 million to 2.1. The Cutlass Blue is going from 2.4 to 3.7. The Cutlass Red is going from 1.8 to 2.8. And the Cutlass Steel is going from 1.3 to 3.9. The Cutter is going from 600,000 to 635,000. That one's actually cheaper than before. The Dragonfly is going from 272,000 to 342,000. The Herald is going from 1.1 million to 1.2 million. And the Mule is going from 15,000 to 68,000. So, the only thing really worth mentioning here is, yes, they're all cheaper than the previous leak, but actually the cutter is going to be cheaper than what it is currently on 3.22. And the reason why I think that is, is because the other variants that we have gotten since then are not present on the kiosks, so we don't see those. So those are going to be probably more expensive variants, and the cutter now is just, just the baseline cutter variant. The entire Tumbrel series are all roughly the same price. They are at around 160. They're not worth going over. But the Nova main battle tank is going from 546,000 to 961,000. And it's actually significantly cheaper than the original leak. And that's really all that's worth mentioning here from Tumbrel. The Grey Cat PTV is going from 5,000 to 29,000. The Rock is going from 172,000 to 103,000. And the Rock DS is going from 176,000 to 141,000. And finally, the STV is going from 12,000 to 75,000. Good changes here. The rocks are actually losing price. So the rocks on live currently in 3.22 are going to be more expensive than the rocks in 3.23. So these are now going to be a more affordable mining option. Very good change here from CIG. The Razor 
is going from 1.7 million to 1.8 million, and the Razer EX is going from 1.8 million to 1.7 million. Not too much of a difference here from the leaks. Merlin is going from 135,000 to 283,000, and the Archimedes is going from 150,000 to 449,000. Freelancer is going from 1.6 million to 3.1 million. The Freelancer Dur is going from 1.9 million to 3.3 million. The Freelancer Max is going from 2.1 million to 4.2 million. And the Freelancer Miss is going from 2.5 million to 4.9 million. The Hall A is going from 1.3 million to 1.7 million. The Prospect is going from 2 million to 2.9 million. The Reliant Core is going from 744,000 to 1.7 million. The Reliant Mako is going from 780,000 to 2.5 million. The Reliant Sen is going from 840,000 to 2.2 million. The Starfare is going from 6.5 million to 13.2 million. And the Starfare Gemini is going from 6.1 million to 14.9 million. Prices here across the board are down from the original leak, and you can now see that the military variants are all more expensive than any non-military variant. The Origin 100i is going from 654,000 to 1.4 million. The 125A is going from 791,000 to 1.5 million. The 135C is going from 800,000 to 1.4 million. The 300i is going from 767,000 to 1.3 million. The 315p is going from 882,000 to 1.4 million. The 325a is going from 944,000 to 1.8 million. The 350r is going from 1.6 million to 3.7 million. The 400i is going from 6.3 million to 11.4 million. The 600i is going from 9.4 million. 27.2 million. The 600i Touring is going from 9.8 million to 24.9 million. The 85X is going from 574,000 to 573,000. Very significant. The 890 Jump is going from 32.2 million to 65.3 million. Quite a jump down from the original leak of 109 million. So it's not that bad, right? The M50 is going from 1.1 million to 1.4 million. Once again, prices across the board are down. The RSI Aurora CL is going from 487,000 to 1.0 million. The Aurora ES is going from 124,000 to 423,000. The Aurora LN is going from 338,000 to 907,000. The Aurora LX is going from 245,000 to 687,000. The Aurora MR is going from 184,000 to 680,000. The Constellation Andromeda is going from 3.5 million to 10.1 million. The Constellation Aquila is going from 4.9 million to 12.1 million. The Constellation Phoenix is going from 5.6 million to 14.8 million. And the Constellation Taurus is going from 3.2 million to 8 million. The Mantis is going from 1.2 million to 3.4 million. The Scorpius is going from 2.8 million to 5.4 million. And the Ursa is going from 70,000 to 120,000. Again, you see the pattern here across the board. The prices are down. So overall, these are very good changes. The majority of the prices are down from the original leak, but all the prices are higher overall. So the prices are still going up, some just not as much as others. Interestingly enough, the Aegis ships are all getting more expensive. I don't know why, but that's fine by me. And you're going to see a lot of flux and change as time goes on. There really isn't anything here I disagree with. In general, I would like things to be more expensive, but that's just me. But overall, this is pretty good. I hope you guys like this and kind of breeze on through it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. But yeah, this is final. This is what you're going to th this is what you're going to see in 3.23.